Hey folks, this is Vagrant, welcome back to Potionomics, and what could well be the final episode of Potionomics? I don't know that for sure, to say the least. I, I, you know, I definitely don't know that, but we've only got a couple days to the competition. And we will be moving through them relatively quickly because, um, we're just gonna do social stuff. There's really nothing else to do in the meantime, so let's get to traveling and see what we can squeeze in. So, <clears throat> I believe Quinn, the salt and pepper, Roxanne, Muktuk, they've all been maxed out. I think it's just the, oh no, and Saffron, right? We maxed out Saffron, didn't we? I'm pretty sure we maxed out Saffron. I should really say somewhere. I'm gonna give her a gift anyway. I'm pretty sure we maxed out Saffron though. So we've done five of them, which is, which is great. You know, if we don't get any more, we will. But if we don't get any more, then it is what it is. But I'm glad we got, we definitely got my favorites. You know, Roxanne, Saffron, Quinn, Muktuk, Salt and Pepper. The only other favorite favorite that I'd like to work on is Mint. So let's have a little look. And uh, hopefully we can, wait, we just gave Mint the potions, didn't we? Come on, Mint, I'm gonna give you a bone. And we're gonna see how we're doing. What do you want? You want this one? Eh? Eh? I gave you a femur. Love me, Mint. I gave you a femur. <laughs> Why won't you love me? <laughs> I don't know if it's a femur or a tibia or a ulna or what it is, but it's a thing. I gave you items. Now reward me with your love. Uh, what do you want, buddy? You're a fungus guy. Fun guy. There you go. Eh? Eh? Um. Zid, Zid, <laughs> you're my last choice, Zid. <laughs> Luna is waiting for me, <laughs> please. Okay, thank you, Zid. Zid, you're the best. Uh, right, so we're gonna level up. I like Zid as well. I do like all of them. I even like Luna these days, honestly. I just wish she was on Instagram. Clicky, clicky person. Uh, I'm gonna give you a tick. Didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, I know. Rank up. Now, did we give potions to Zid? Because I feel like we did, and that rhymes. That means it's true. It just occurred to me, we're both in the business of curing people of what ails them. I hadn't thought of it that way before. I've got a point though, right? Your potions replenish health and shield against damage. And live music has the power to soothe the soul. I could use some soothing right now actually, so let's hope this does the trick. Zid leads Sylvia to the waterfront where a temporary stage has been constructed and a battle of the bands is in progress. Sylvia's never seen anything quite like it before. It's not just music. Each band employs magic and dazzling displays of pyrotechnics. Which feels wrong. I feel like a battle of the bands, having been to many battle of the bands myself, should just be about the music. It should be a very pure thing. I'm just being pretentious. There are laser light shows, phantasmal backup dancers and illusory fireworks. And through it all, Sid just scowls. Is everything okay? You seem down. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be a bummer. These things normally cheer me right up, but today is just all a stark reminder. Exactly, exactly what I've just said, Sid. You're a you're a good exit. We we'd get. I feel like me and Sid would go on very well, actually. Like I don't think it would be a romantic thing, but I think we'd be good friends. You know, which makes me question pretty much everything, actually. The time and effort I'm putting into writing a song of my own is that just vanity? Back home, I have professional songwriters lining up to work with me. Maybe I should stick to what I'm good at and stop chasing windmills. What you're good at? Should I put my thoughts to music? Following dreams can be pretty tough. I'm better off not trying to write my own stuff. That's a that's a, bit, a beautiful song of hope for the generation. It's a millennial song through and through. I thought it was going well. I thought so too. I was so confident, in fact, that I dropped in an open mic night yesterday. I performed two songs, one of them the original piece I've been working so hard on. The other was something new that my manager sent me. The Ballad of Green Beer, the Slime Slayer. Every bit as juvenile and uninspired as it sounds. But... Of the two songs, Greenbeard was the clear favourite. I'm sorry. That's hard. Getting that sort of feedback. Yeah, yeah it's hard, but I suppose it's necessary. I thought I had a really solid idea still, something that hadn't been done before. I used all the conventions of a traditionally heroic ballad, but instead of, ballad, but instead of focusing on an action hero, I wrote about a regular everyday citizen. I wanted to show how the average woman is every bit as remarkable, as worthy of celebration, as a muscled dude with a sword. Sounds pretty interesting. I thought so too, but the audience didn't know what to make of it. I shouldn't be surprised, I'm not surprised if I'm honest, but I am disappointed. I was really hoping that crowd would prove me wrong. Instead, they confirmed what I've known all along. People don't want new and different, they want tried and true. So from now on, that's just what I'll give them. I don't know. No, no Zid, no. You don't have to worry about me, honest, I'm fine. 
I took a shot at something new and it didn't work out, but I still have plenty to offer, including haggling tips. Oh wait, no. Wait, is this rank 9? Remember a minute ago when I put my woes to song? Admit it, that catchy tune had you hooked. Is this rank 9? Oh no, is it? I'm sorry. Raise interest by the most recent raised interest amount. That in the right deck would be really good, but it's not. Because it's too. If it, it has to cost one mana to be viable. You would use this to get like a one mana discount on a three mana card. But it's so situational. The, uh, uh, the problem a lot of this game has in terms of the card design is that you just don't have enough cards in your hand. Your decks aren't very big. You don't have that many cards in hand. Typically, you have three or four cards in hand unless you're running these big draw cards, which then you have to take other stuff out. Like if you had big hands and bigger mana costs, this would be a really good card, like an interesting card. As it stands, it's going to feel dead so often and you're going to end up spending two mana to get like eight interest or something, you know? It's just not viable. Like, why would you not just run a better two mana card? The only reason you do it is to account for three mana cards, right? So it's a one mana discount. I know it's patience, but we're going to call it a mana. One mana discount over a three mana card. And that's just not worth it to, to risk that. It's a two card combination. I'd rather cheer you up. I must be taking this to the hero gig because the idea of smiting some monsters is more than enough to cheer me up. If you really want to help, you could always kick some potions my way, then I can go out and blow some steam. Sid is planning to take her professional frustrations out on monsters, but I think she'll be happy if she pours her energy into her art. Okay, I'm a little nervous that we're not going to max it out. She'd have to be ready to go tomorrow, basically. Okay, so that's Sid and Cor Corsac. Did I, did I visit? Guy Jorba? I did visit Corsac. I've given all three of these a present right there. Yeah, they couldn't level. So we've got Baptiste and Luna left. Crazy. Come on, Baptiste. Oh yeah, I forgot I sent you out, because there's a new ingredient. Black Gold Ore and Arcane Truffle. Anything else? No. Uh, right, for you, my good, fine, feathered friend, I have a thing I've given you a thousand. Maybe I should mix it up a little bit. What about an Orchid? No. No, screw it. <laughs> I wonder if that's a thing. Different presents is good. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, so Baptiste has had the rank 9 present. I don't think Mint or Corsac have, you know. Which means Mint and Corsac are not going to be completed. I don't think there's much I can do about that. This is really sad. I really wish I'd known about this earlier on in the game. I would have done things so differently. Grumble, grumble, grumble. I'm going to pretend it's the game's fault for not explaining its mechanics. Maybe a quick errand. Well... We'll have a chat with Luna. We'll do what we can. We need to make sure we don't spend all our time here because we do need to get back in order to... Um... Sorry, people... <laughs> so we've been... I'm just going to bring this in. People in our Discord have been talking about this game, about who they're attracted to and who they like the most. Stuff like that. Um... Sylvia is a rope bunny. <laughs> It's this. I'm just. Muk Tuk is a gentle top. Quinn looks like a switch. Mint is a bottom. Saffron pegs. Roxanne sounds. I don't know what sounds is. Thanks for joining me. I've got. Oh, sounds. Oh, I do know what sounds is. Roxanne would never. Thanks for joining me. I've got to pick out some new office furniture. And we don't Google what sounds is, by the by. And as harmless as that sounds, it can be a fraught experience. Why? Are you a big spender? A big spender. No, no, not exactly. Just come with me to the lamp vendor, okay? Well, pull me out if I do anything. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> as soon as they step inside the lamp cellar stall, Luna tenses up. Her pupils grow huge, her, wing Aww. her wings flutter, she walks toward the nearest lamp. Then she walks right into the lamp, bumping against it repeatedly. It's kind of adorable. Luna, snap out of it. Oh, oh no, I did it again, didn't I? Maybe we should skip the lamps for now. What's next on your list? Rugs, but we better steer clear of the wool ones. <laughs> I've been known to snack. Bless her. Well, that wasn't quite the relaxing outing I had in mind. I'm more out of sorts than I thought I was at the start. Eyeballs don't randomly fall out of sockets, right? They're in there pretty good. My teeth are chattering so hard that my face feels loose. Nerves? Stress? Yes and yes. And lack of sleep. Caffeine is nature's panacea, but it has its limits and I may have found them, Sylvia. I know I probably spent too much time complaining to you about my big client. Also, panacea is one of my favourite words. But you're my best friend, Sylvia, and you're the best sounding board I have when I'm feeling desperate to vent. Vent away, that's what I'm here for. 
You're too good to me, Sylvia. As you probably noticed, I've been burning the candle at both ends. Is my candle burning, by the way? It's been, yeah, it has been weird before. I started feeling like I'm in danger of burning out completely. So I let Her Highness know that the amount of work she was asking for wasn't sustainable. I was afraid she'd be disappointed. I thought maybe I'd even lose her business. But instead, she came back with an offer. Bom, bom, bom. She wants to buy the whole business, Sylvia. She wants my little boutique to become her full-time publicity team. That's right, a team. She wants me to expand. And her offer came with a very generous number attached. It was seven, the number. It was big. Luna, congratulations. That's every entrepreneur's dream, right? Maybe. To be honest, I'm not really sure what I want. How do I even begin to make such a big decision? What does your five-year plan say? I've taken the offer to get you closer to your goals. Sylvia, that's brilliant. I may not have planned for this specifically, but there is a plan. I need to consider new opportunities in that context. I don't care what our parents say. Who do, you, who do you think you're talking to? And it's a lot to consider. Sorry, Dad. Am I ready to see control on this scale? Am I ready to cut my other clients loose to focus on a single ongoing project? I don't know the answers. Honestly, my head throbs when I even try to think about it. She clearly can't do it, though, because I need to get marketing from her. Maybe she'll do it on the sly. Did I mention my eyes feel like they're bulging out? You need some sleep, I think. A big decision like this, you need to come at it with a clear head. Sleep. Now that you said it, that's all I can think about. You're a master of subliminal suggestions, Sylvia. I hope you're using those skills in your daily negotiations. Raises interest by... 10? Oh. it's quite a lot, actually. 10, 5... 10, 15, 20. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. It would only have to go off twice to be good value. If it went off twice, it'd be insane value, actually. <laughs> right, that'd be 25 for two. I might put one of those in the deck. Because, like, if it has to go for three turns, like that one from Quinn, there was, like, a double one. It was, wasn't it two, four? No, it was four, eight. And 12 is not enough to warrant the two mana, but 25 is. It is 25, right? I'm not crazy. I don't think I'm crazy. Listen to the sound of my voice and give me all your money. Aha, I'm not totally under your control. Although I'd pay you an absurd amount of money for a supercharged cup of coffee right now. Poor Luna, more coffee is the last thing she needs. Maybe I can brew up something even better. Okay. So. I think that's potions for everyone. We may just squeeze this in. So let me have a little think, as dangerous as that sounds. Is there anyone who isn't even on potion level? I can't really check until I go back home. I think everyone's on potion level. Who did I just get the potions for, this video? It was Luna and Zid, right? Is Corsac not a potion level yet? Let me have a little look. Because I'm going to talk to someone and hang out with them for two time slots. Right, rank 10. I think everyone's on rank 10. I'm going to be like... You know what? If I had one more day... If I just had one more day... I could have guaranteed this. And we're going to hang out for a little bit. I, I may as well. There's no point in going home. Mint empties the contents of her rucksack into a big pile. She's accumulated a lot of stuff on her adventures. There are weapons, weeds, monster pelts, explosives, pages from old journals, an alarming number of keys, and one whole loaf of bread. Mint is initially embarrassed and overwhelmed by all the junk, but Sylvia cracks her knuckles and starts sorting, and Mint joins in. I really appreciate the help, Sylvia. Even chores are fun when you're around. How did I end up with so many wheels of cheese anyway? Sylvia feels closer to her, blah, 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 blah. That might not have been necessary, but... Ah, it was necessary. Oh, no. Oh, but then I can't... Oh, no. <laughs> that must be the final one for Mint, right? It must be. Okay, we have to go home. I... I ah, just one more day. If I had one more day, just a singular day, I could nail this. And I'm, I'm going to fall a day short on maxing everyone. I think. How it feels, anyway. I think everyone's got a potion by now. Right, what do I miss here? Superior mana and stamina. It must be stamina. I'm sure I've got mana potions. Let me just double check. Superior mana, superior stamina. Let's have a little peekaroo. Boop! Uh, well, there's superior mana. Do I not have any stamina potions? I most certainly do not. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're also going to do a little bit of deck building, just in case. Um, don't like that. All right, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. 
I'll do that. I do like Carpe Did I not put Carpe Diem in the deck? I think take it or leave it might be better. Um, I think that's I don't want more than two closers in the deck, so I can't really take Carpe Diem. I do like it, though. Uh, suits my deck. I think this is good. Um, what would I drop for it, though? Keep your guard up? Yeah, probably. I don't need that anymore. I'll keep one of them. Muxox was a little disappointing, yeah. Alright, cool. I'm hoping I get to... Oh, we will, of course. We're going to have competition. I like using the deck, so I'm going to be a little sad if I don't get to do it again. Uh, right, let's... I don't know what happened with my, my I started to say the word and then my lips like, you know what? No, screw you. <laughs> We're gonna do our own thing. We're gonna start our own YouTube channel with blackjack and hookers. Oh no, I need more dragon pheromones. No, don't we always? Man, I need everything. I'm really lacking ingredients here. Do I have Oh this sucks? <laughs> What's going on? I'm so confused. Where's all my stuff? Is this really all I've got? Wow, I'm I'm woefully underprepared. So that is, do I have a 44 red? No. Okay, I mean, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Don't get me wrong. We're going to be okay. <laughs> I'm not like panicked or anything. It's just slightly annoying. I mean, still, that's fine. It's fine. Uh, and we need to make sure this is here by the morning. So I'm just going to... Okay, we don't, clearly don't need to do that. <laughs> yeah, ju just in case, I'm going to set it to 1. It's, it's, it, it will be fine, but I just really want to make sure 100%. Okay, time for Betty Bye Byes. As they say in the clubs, probably. You can't prove me wrong. End day. The final day. I'm excited it's a kitten on Katunama's Eve. I'm a little apprehensive. One day to go. Day 49. What a journey it's been. This is the 26th episode. I did not expect this game to be quite so humongous, honestly. Alright. Let's grab our bro. Thank you very much. I would do so much differently this time around, you know. There's so many things I would do differently, actually. It's crazy. But hey, you learn, don't you? Okay, so everyone is ready. I think I think that's all the potion missions done. I've got vague recollections of all of them. But whether Mint and Luna are capable of um Well no, Mint is. It's it's Luna Luna's the one I'm most concerned about. Corsac as well. Luna and Corsac are the two I'm most concerned about. Baptiste, I'm hoping we're gonna hit now. So we've done Saffron, Quinn, Muktuk, Salt and Pepper, Roxanne. And that's it, right? We haven't done any more yet. We've done five. We've got five to go. And there's only five time slots, so... <laughs> Not <laughs> totally convinced on this one. It's only time... One, two, three, four, five... One, two... There is, there is precisely five time slots to play with. Don't even have to ask. But at least Mint is completed, you know? That's that's one. I'm getting we're getting the important ones done. So I owe an apology and a thank you. Basically I should probably throw a whole parade in your honour at this point. You mean because of the speed potions? It was nothing. I just wanted to provide you with an edge out there, an edge that was handcrafted with love just for you. No legendary weapons required and no thanks necessary. As for the apology, what would you even be sorry about? All the wallowing. Safe pity self pity's not a good look on an inspiring hero. Well, I can agree. In the case of an aspiring hero who's accomplished as much as you have. Thanks. I don't know if I've accomplished all that much yet. Sure you have. Think about it. In your quest for an artifact, you forged ahead where other heroes feared to tread. You vanquished monsters, confronted dragons, sold riddles, navigated mazes and scaled mountains. And I have it on good authority that it did all this, while saving a lot of pirates from a lot of trees. Sylvia, I think you're determined to make me blush so hard my head bursts into flames. Can we sneak out of here? I don't want any witnesses around when I combust. Let's go get an ice cream. Not ice cream in ages. 
not me, I had ice cream sundae. <laughs> in game, the weather is pleasant down by the water and children frolic in the surf. But it's obvious to Sylvia that Mint's eyes are drawn to the Kraken shell sitting ominously in the shallows. Good view of the Kraken skull from here. Yeah, as trophies go, it's hard to beat. Heroes are always comparing trophies, you know? We all want tangible proof of what we've accomplished. That was sort of my whole thing with wanting a legendary weapon. Would a Kraken even have a skull, by the way? Does an octopus have a skull? <laughs> I feel like octopuses don't have skulls. They don't have bones, right? Well, of course they don't. Would a Kraken have a skull? I mean, I guess it does, but I wouldn't imagine so. Oh, anyways, that was sort of my whole thing with wanting a legendary weapon. I wanted something I could point to and say, see, I'm worthy. I'm surrounded by people I idolise, Sylvia. The imposter syndrome is real. You might not have found your weapon, but you proved yourself worthy along the way. Right now, hearing you say that, I believe it. But will I believe it tomorrow? Will I believe it the next time a monster gets to drop on me, or I trigger a trap, or I oversleep? Well, been there. Believing yourself is hard. It takes work. Daily, active work. Funny. It's easy for me to believe in you. It's about the easiest thing in the world. Sylvia. Let's kiss on the Kraken skull. <laughs> I don't know what I did to deserve a friend like you. Honestly, you're just the best. I can't promise all my doubts are laid to rest, but I promise I'll try not to be so hard on myself. Instead of chasing validation, I'm going to celebrate the things I know I do well. Hugging, for instance. I'm telling you, Sylvia, I give the best hugs in all the guild. Hugging, really? It's a skill, Sylvia, it is. A skill I've honed over the years to near perfection. Huh. I guess I should be the judge of that though, right? Bring it in, bud. You're worthy of this. And so am I. Ah, the gate's stress from all sources. Ha! Huh. It's like a better shield card, isn't it, really? It's like a two-turn max shield. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. I'd probably put that in the deck. I'm probably going to put that in the deck. If I ever need to put anything in the deck ever again. I like that. Again, she didn't find her legendary weapon. I like that. She's... she's it's because she's got to find self-worth from something beyond that, you know? A flower for my flower? Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Yes! <laughs> Here we go. Bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Oh, I didn't really do good traits on my boat. Anyways, Sylvia, it was so kind of you to donate those potions. I'm including them as prize as part of our new Hero of the Month program. And if that goes over well, I'll be buying more from you for the future months. I guess it pays to be generous. Well, it certainly got me thinking about how nice it would be to have that sort of control over my own business dealings. You didn't have to ask anyone's permission to make a donation. You didn't have to justify your decision to the stakeholders. Well, I did get some dirty looks from the owl. But hey, a Hero of the Month program sounds like a good way to boost morale. Oh, that's the barest tip of the iceberg. I'm making some changes around here. Big ones. You see, I realised something. In all our discussions of how we might make this organisation better for the heroes, I was towing the company line. Even when my heart was with the heroes, my head was caught up in a certain way of thinking, an old way of thinking. It's the old ways that are broken. We need new ideas, new paradigms. Hence the big changes you mentioned. That's right. Finger guns. <laughs> People love to finger guns in this game. And those big changes start with the dissolution of the guild. Dissolution? You heard me. Effective immediately. The Heroes Guild is no more. And in its place shall rise... The Heroes Guild! I get you, Baptiste. I just realised that it's probably confusing without seeing it spelled out. There's an apostrophe now. <laughs> Still confusing. At its heart, it's a simple idea. Rafter's Heroes Guild has always been part of the larger organisation. A franchise beholden to the main chapter back home. But this particular chapter is... A risky venture by modern standards. The guilds of the mainland are a well-oiled mechanism. Out here, everything is less predictable and more dangerous. So my family feels they've put much more into Rafter's Guild than they've gotten out of it. They've gone so far as to call it a money pit. So... I offer to take it off their hands. So now you're in charge? Yes. And no. I'm writing a new charter, one that will transform our little clubhouse into a non-profit operation. The value that the how heroes generate will be funneled directly back into the organisation and into their own pockets. As for the question of who's in charge, if I've learned anything in recent days, it's the limits of my own perspective. We'll be holding elections soon to determine who will join me on a leadership council. By electing and empowering representatives from their own ranks and establishing a system of checks and balances, the heroes can rest assured that my own personal blind spots won't become systemic blind spots capable of impeding the organisation as a whole. Wow, sounds like you did it. You solved all the guild's problems. 
Well, not all our problems. My chambers are still drafty, and the lack of natural light in the morning is abysmal. Still, I'm surprised your family agreed to this. Even if the guild isn't as lucrative as they hoped, it's obviously generating revenue. And as unique as Rafter is, there's potential for this chapter to be massively profitable down the line. The truth is, they didn't just hand it over, they are business folk after all. But I was able to convince them that the guild's prospective earnings were somewhat less than the value of my inheritance. So I'm officially out of the will and my monthly stipend is a thing of the past. You mean, you're broke now? For the time being. <laughs> but I still think I came out ahead in this negotiation. The guild is going places Sylvia and I and my heroes now stand to benefit directly from the hard work we put into it. Plus, my mother still intends to send regular care packages. So my hair care regimen, at least, will not suffer in the meantime. Phew. I feel good about this, Sylvia. It's the start of a whole new way of doing things. A hero's guild that is for the heroes and by the heroes. Like a cooperative. Hence the apostrophe. Exactly, you see? It's not just a flashy change. But that's enough shop talk, surely. Come, let's make the most of our time. That's real. I'm really happy for him. That is a very good solution. Took some personal sacrifice, but now he's fully in charge of his own destiny. People are obsessed with this goddamn Kraken Skull. <laughs> Baptiste leads Sylvia down to the water, where they once again have a view of the Kraken Skull. He considers it quietly, thoughtfully, as if it were artwork in a museum. Artwork he was sure held some obscure, secret significance. Ah, that skull does loom large, doesn't it? As monuments go, it's a little morbid, but it's a good reminder of where we've been and of what awaits us at the end. I'm happy that between those points our two paths converged. Your friendship has been a guiding light in my life of late. Truly, I've been stumbling in the dark. You helped me make sense of my new surroundings and you helped me refine my purpose. You helped me too! I feel like I should have another voice for Sylvia. Would have been hard work though. And I don't really have like a change to my voice that isn't hard work. I can't like change it a little bit. It's good of you to say so. <laughs> and I trust our partnership shall continue to thrive in the years to come. You know, now that I think about it, you're quite fearless, Sylvia. Cool under pressure and honourable, too. The Heroes Guild could use a recruit like you. You must be joking. Ha! You know me well, and I'm glad that you do. Thanks ever so much for being that rarest of creatures. A true friend. Aww. God, this game is so wholesome. <laughs> Raising just by 10. Remove all customer buffs. Eh. I don't find the customer buffs to be that big a deal. I mean... Some of them are, though. It'll be like a buff that gives them... It's just... It's too rare. Again, this is the problem with the card draw. You can't have... These are what I... Right. If you've got a card that addresses a specific problem in the in a card game, we'd call it a tech card. Oh, no. Well, yeah, so let's say you want to silence an enemy minion. So you put a silence card in your deck, you call it a tech card because it kind of addresses something. Or even more specific than that, let's say you want to counter one specific card in your opponent's deck, so you put a card into your deck that counters that card. That's a tech card because you're teching your deck for that single situation. A lot of the cards in this game aren't tech cards per se, but they're, they're close to tech cards. You know, that card there is addressing specifically when the enemy buffs themselves. Which is a good thing to be able to control, but the problem again is your hand size is so small that that card becomes a potentially dead card, which is a problem. They needed to increase the hand size and reduce the amount of interest accordingly. I think the card battle... I really like the cards and the design and stuff like that, but I feel like it needed another couple of rounds of balancing to uh, make it a little bit better. Um, done, 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 done. Zid. I think Zid. Zid's the last one I'm confident on. I shouldn't have said that, should I? Come on, Ziddy. Come on, Ziddy. Light my fire. Here we go. Give you a hocus locust. Please, Zid. Please. Yes! <laughs> that's 8 out of 10. That's 8 out of 10. Regardless of anything, that's 8 out of 10. Cats. Sylvia, do I have a rave review for you? Those potions you gave me were everything. Like a cure for stage fright, writer's block, and the blues all at once. I'm glad you're feeling a little better. More than a little. To be honest, I'm feeling inspired all over again, and not a minute too soon. I was way too quick to give up on writing, that's obvious to me now. Between the faith you've shown in me and an interaction I just had with a few new fans. Did he ask for your autograph? Although, you must be kind of used to that by now. It's true, I signed a lot of autographs in my day. And the longer I'm in Rafter, the more people figure out that Zid and Zidriel are one and the same. So when I got to my busking corner earlier, and a small group of people had gathered around, I assumed they'd figured it out, that they were there to see international pop star Zidriel. But they were there to see me, the real me. Zid, the humble bard with the song about an everyday hero. 
guess one of them had been in the audience the night I debuted my new song. It made such an impression on her, she brought her friends along to see me play. Sid, that's awesome. Yeah, finger guns. It's not even a gun, it's a finger crossbow. <laughs> or a slingshot. It felt pretty awesome, to be honest. They didn't ask me to play the crowd pleasers, they didn't request the hits, they didn't even ask for my autograph. They were there for my music. And when the performance was over, they promised to come back for more. I'm not surprised, you're so talented, Sid. Thanks. But we both know I'm taking a risk here. It's scary making big changes at this stage of my career. I've been so afraid of taking the wrong step that I basically stopped moving altogether. I identify so hard with that. We'll talk about that in a minute. Talking to those people, <laughs> playing my music for them on the side of the road, it was exactly what I needed. It was a reminder that I should be brave enough to follow my instincts. A lot of people won't get what I'm trying to do. And that's okay, because the ones who do, they're the ones I'm writing for, Sylvia. The people who need to see themselves reflected in art. The Bard of the Common Folk, huh? I like that. I like it too, quite a bit. Say, you wanna get out of here? Let's stretch our legs and go look at a goddamn Kraken Skull. <laughs> oh look, it's the Kraken Skull. <laughs> so how's it feel being a singer-songwriter? Ha, huh, well, it feels pretty great at the moment. I still got a lot of work ahead of me though. You're off to a good start, thanks. Although I can't take all the credit for that and I have a confession to make. Sil, the subject of my ballad. Oh, is it me? It's you, Ah, What, really? I thought you might have guessed by now. I mean, when I asked you who I should write about, you suggested an underdog and you're the scrappiest underdog I know. Here, I'll sing you a few bars. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> the odds were against her. Yeah, right from the start. She had next to nothing, just love for her art. She had no great powers, just natural charm. Soon patrons were dazzled, curmudgeons disarmed. Fear, though, would find her, it gnawed at her will. She doubted her prowess, she doubted her skill. Yet hark, she had allies, she was not alone. An animal helper nested in her home. The challenges came, I didn't get that, <laughs> but none found her lacking. She settled her debts, she sent rivals packing. And when the day came for one final bout, she banished her worry, she conquered her doubt. In truth, t'was no contest, but instead a rout. There's a little bit more, that is a terrible song. <laughs> you get the idea. Wow, is it? I'm, I'm so flattered. You've really been paying attention, haven't you? <laughs> All these lovely things you said about me, plucked right from reality. I told you before, Sil, you inspire me. I meant that literally. Listen, I'm surrounded by so-called heroes all day, every day, and a lot of them are genuinely heroic. But they're not exactly toiling away without recognition. Praise and glory are baked into the gig. And then I looked at you, and all you've accomplished in your short time here, and I thought, there's an unsung hero. There's someone who deserves some recognition. I'm not trying to embarrass you or anything, I just thought your story might inspire your others in the way it inspires me. My situation has been so stressful, I'm not sure I ever thought of it as inspirational. A real hero wouldn't though, would they? I'm glad to be able to share this success with you, Sylvia, and what's more, I'm honoured to be the one to help you realise just how inspirational you are. So I'm not fully convinced of that, maybe if I heard the rest of the song. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure it's totally finished. I mean, we don't know yet how your story ends. Wow, that's some pressure. <laughs> Get us out bed to stick the landing. I have faith in you. But whatever happens, I'll be right there with you, chronicling your adventures, our adventures. Just try to chronicle my good side, would you? Oh, still. Don't even worry about that. But where I'm standing, it's nothing but good side. Aww. Encore. Interesting. Only be played if patience is one. Oh, it's so temptingly good, but it's, oh, it's just, ah, it's maybe a tiny bit too specific. I don't know. Not sure. Uh, all right, Corsac. Corsac might make it as well. It's, Luna's the only one who I'm pretty sure is not going to make it, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Come on, Corsac. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Don't you want to love me? Yes! <laughs> we may just pull this off. <laughs> that would be that would be cool. Run 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. Lots of hugs. Corsac's going to hate it. Thank you for the potion, Sylvia. Your instincts were right. They came in hand. Oh, I want to talk. Yeah, so I am rebooting. Soft rebooting is what I'd call it. The main channel at the moment. The best in slot channel. It's not that the content's completely changing. I'm still playing Evolution 2. I'm still playing dinosaur games. Yada, yada, yada. But I realised, I talked about this during God of War, for those of you who watched that series, uh, towards the end. 
By the time you guys see this video, I've been doing it for like a month now, so we'll see how things are going. <laughs> I won't fin. Um, but I was doing like a soft reboot of the channel where I tried to expand my focus to paleo media in general and talk about, I want to talk about books and film and TV and even do scientific studies and yada yada yada. Um, and it's going to hurt initially. Like I expect views to be rough and a little bit ropey. But it's about finding that new audience, about something I care a little bit more about as well. And you accept that there's going to be pain along the way, but you have to take the challenge, right? Anyways, it was just kind of identifying what Sid was saying. I can't remember exactly what she said that I picked up on, but it was something akin to that. <sighs> Anywho, your instincts were right. They came in handy during the Hero's Happy Hour. Still not entirely sure why Baptiste called it that. It lasted several hours, and I witnessed a full range of emotions, probably descending into grim depression by the end. But okay, but was it fun? I'm gonna say yes. Also, no. My experience was complicated. Well, it can't have gone as poorly as my senior prom did. Unless someone summoned an eldritch horror on the dance floor. Not that I noticed. And it sounds like a successful event to me. Good to have that perspective, I suppose. My main trouble with the event, and it won't surprise you to hear this, but I found small talk all but impossible. Oh, I could ask the trivial questions just fine, but listening to the trivial answers, my mind wouldn't sit still for that. I'm sorry, Sylvia, but I can't bring myself to care what a grown man's favourite colour might be. And when people ask about me, well... I found I couldn't keep to trivialities. Talked about three-legged coconuts, didn't you? Coconuts, yes, and spiny-tailed avocados, and those berries that call you rude names. Also talked about how to fight them, and how to do it without wrecking the whole forest. I talked about things I care about, Sylvia. Things of interest to me. Some people evidently took me for a real downer. They made excuses to step away, they never found their way back to my vicinity. A few scoffed at me when they thought they were out of earshot. I'm sorry, I've been there and it's hurtful. But why focus on the ones who left? Because the ones who stayed, Sylvia. They stayed because they were genuinely interested in what I had to say. I've never been one to chase approval, but finding it feels... good. And it's not just approval, really. It's this sense that I belong here. This feeling of, God, the ellipsis in this game. Community. We're not just a study group. We're a community. Cool, 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 cool. Sounds like the lone wolf found his pack. You might be right. Some of us are even getting together next week to discuss sustainability measures the guild could adopt. Looking forward to that. Right now, though, it's just you and me. And I like that, too. Let's go look at a kraken. <laughs> right? <laughs> no! Corsac, why? We were doing so well. You're suddenly very quiet. Well, just because a person isn't afraid to talk doesn't mean he can't enjoy the silence never been a fan of silence, it makes me nervous. And I've never been a fan of chatter for the sake of chatter. Saying that, it might sound like I'm grasping for superiority of some kind. It's not that I mean to set myself apart from people, I'm not trying to be distant or unfriendly, but the truth is my hesitation around social interactions, it's always been about one thing, fear. I was afraid people wouldn't understand me, afraid they wouldn't care about any of the things I cared about. I'm glad you're getting past those fears. I have you to thank for that. You never hesitated to join in on my hobbies. You never made me feel bad for rambling about my offbeat preoccupations. You expressed interest in what I had to say. That helped me see that others might be interested too. And I haven't forgotten that this whole hero turn was your idea. Even when I was antagonizing you. You were listening to me, hearing me even then. Can't take all the credit. You put a lot of effort into, well, making an effort. And you've done all that while staying true to who you are. We can agree on that. Whatever changes I've made, I'm still that same odd duck. I'm just a less lonely version of who I was all along. That's a good thing, because there's enough typical to go around. Hey, that's my Steam name, leave me alone. You're not so typical yourself, really, and we do make quite the pair. Sylvia, your friendship is one of the true joys of my life, and if I'm silent in your presence, it's not because I have nothing to say, it's because I'm so comfortable with you and so secure in our bond that I can merely be in your presence and feel content. You know, I think I know what you mean. I guess not filling the air with chatter, in a way, is kind of intimate. It can be. It certainly can. <laughs> and the weather's real nice, don't you think? <laughs> I suppose we'll have to work on enjoying the silence. I know just where to start. When words fail me, I like to go for a bit of show, don't tell. Aww. Yo! They're all so expensive, these cards, but it's pretty great. Okay, Luna, you're the only holdout, girl. <laughs> you are the only holdout. Let's finish off in style. It is the last time slot we possibly ever have. 
Come on, Luna. Come on, Luna. Come on, Luna. Where's the freaking fruit? There it is. Okay, I'm gonna give you the best fruit ever. 280, is it all? Yeah, okay, come on, come on. Simfandel, Simfandel. She loves it, she loves it, she loves it, she loves it. No, oh, Luna! No! <laughs> it was so close. Oh, no. Oh, that's sad. Can we hang out for one? Will that work? Will, I, I, will we have time afterwards? I don't think so. Okay, whatever. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, I'm so sad. I can't believe I got 9 out of 10. Oh, Luna. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I'm actually a little sad. This is it. Tomorrow's the big day victory within our grasp. Come out ahead in that competition, you'll be free of debt. And I'll be free of feathers. Assuming you haven't decided to accept Robin's offer, of course, to throw the match. Take the money and leave me in the lurch? Which is an absurd idea. I know you wouldn't do that. You wouldn't do that, right? <laughs> Relax, Oswald. We're in this together. And there's no turning back now. Hey, Robin. Meow. <laughs> Such resilience. If I'm honest, I find it fascinating. What's the secret to your resolve, Sylvia, in the face of so much adversity? What makes you tick? Well, right at this very moment, I'm holding out for an apology. From me, you mean. You know, I suppose I do owe you an apology of sorts. Look at me. Look at her bright eyes. Oh, she's so excited. Oh, she's so cute. She's so, this is like the first time she's not been super sleepy looking. She's all bright eyed, bushy tailed and ready to spend, as they say. In one very specific game from 20 years ago. It was wrong of me to suggest that you forfeit, to offer you a deal like I did. It's much better for things to play out this way. Much better for the town to see me win against an opponent who's pink. You're a prick, aren't you? It will make my victory all the more glorious. I hate him. Look at his stupid face. Yeah, totally. Unless you lose, of course. I really should have changed my deck. You really think you have a chance tomorrow? You really truly believe it? <laughs> Tell me then, Sylvia, what exactly are you basing such confidence? Well, that's easy. I've worked hard over five weeks. <laughs> I've focused on my craft and on learning from the people around me. And among the many things I've learned is this. I'm good at what I do. I believe in myself. And my friends believe in me too. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Do you listen to yourself? You're going to beat me. Me with high self-esteem and the power of friendship. You don't seem to realise we're operating in completely different leagues here. Yeah, sure. That's what my last four competitors thought too. <laughs> Alright, Sylvia. Fair. I love her so much. Maybe I ought not to underestimate you, but if you're right, if, through some miracle, things don't go my way in this competition, I have a trump card prepared. One you'll never see coming. Why would you tell me that? It means tomorrow has only one possible outcome, so if you have as much riding on this contest as you claim, well, you might want to spend these next hours putting your affairs in order. Hiss! No, May, no, I love you. What a tool. <laughs> Didn't I say so from the start? Just trying to psych us out, same as all the others did. We should focus on what matters. Just think, if everything goes the way it should, you'll be human again this time tomorrow. And that's a debt I'll never be able to repay. Don't do this for me, Sylvia. Do it for yourself. You've come so far in such a short time. Get out there and show this town what you can do. Let's rock it. Comp day. Hype. Look at that. Didn't do anything. This is it. This is it. This is it. It's competition day. Oh, Luna, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I may never get over that for the rest of my life. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Here they are, two giants of local industry, two masters of their craft. But only one can be crowned our winner. Only one can take home the grand prize. Let's meet our stars. In the blue corner, taking the first podium today is a man so regal he puts the king in potion making. He survived the worst this world could throw at him and he came out the other side with a smile on his face and an adorable little reptile. But don't even get me started about those dimples. I'm talking, of course, about Robin. That's very kind, if we can move this along. <laughs> At podium number two is a woman who knows a thing or two about adversity herself. In the red corner, she arrived on her shores with little more than the clothes on her back and a dream. In a matter of weeks, she transformed her uncle's ramshackle potion shop into a reasonably successful ramshackle potion shop. <laughs> Let's hear it. Three cheers for Sylvia. Hey, Robin. Your lizard gives me the creeps. I'm not going to say that. I expect you a lot, actually. That doesn't have to get personal. Sorry, kid. You say you should never meet your idols. You're about to learn why. I was hoping to 
disarm him with my compliment. It didn't work. <laughs> I wasn't going to insult May. She's adorable. I love her so much. Wait, scratch that. It would be my honor to share the stage with two such titanic titans. Da da. It's me, Baptiste. <laughs> From this vantage, I'll be able to better facilitate this contest. Whoa. Whoa, arm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Woo. Bear with me. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, that was painful. My. It's pull day today, so I've been doing bicep curls and stuff. And the muscle in my forearm, on my right arm, just went woof. So that's Scottish flag in the background. Now it's true that I consider both... No, it's not Scottish. It's kind of like the Scottish one, but it's got these little dimples. That's true I consider both contestants among my dearest friends. And who better, for it's their patronage and their precious coins that these contestants covet. Covet. This morning I'm here simply to act as voice of the people. Count on me to interpret the crowd's enthusiasm or lack thereof. In other words, audience, if you see something you like, make some noise. The outcome is a foregone conclusion. I know it. The crowd knows it. Did they love him so much? It's a popularity contest. It's not a potion making contest. Ah, look at May. Oh, I love her. And May knows it most of all. To that I can only say, let the battle begin. Alright, let's do our thing. These are good, good potions. Alright, Robin, you ready to wow us all? This old one's an old family recipe. And the family in question is the ancient line of monarch Magi. Magi? 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 Whose mastery of forbidden arts... Magi. Magi. His mastery of forbidden arts ended the second dark age. Consider me wowed. Audience, am I right to be impressed? It's quite a lot. Yeah, that's not right. This is bad. With something like that, i say you have some fans here today. As it should be. Sylvia, can you outdo him? Yes? Question mark, smiley face. That is a... Wait, is that the one? No, it's not. Neither is that. I think... Wait, 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 wait. 2007. 1006. Where's my one, sir? Two, sir? I mean, it's only a little bit better. I could I could have made better than this, weirdly enough. I'm miles down. As leader of the Heroes Guild, you'll recognise how precious this potion really is. That may in fact be true, however, and this is of massive quality, no less. But what does the audience say? Is it a hit? What? It's not that bad. So you have more to say. I do have, I have lots more to say about it, thank you very much. Right, well, we've got every card except... Hmm, Luna, the only one. The only freaking one. Right, okay, let's have a little look at our deck. Um, I'm not sure I like Bravado as much as I thought I did, you know. Spending one mana. Well, how much do you reckon I probably get with Bravado on average? No, it is. It's like one mana for like 18. So it's, it's, it's probably worth doing. Captivate is great. Strike a strike later is... Maybe that's why I drop. I'm going to put lessons... Because you look at cap that versus that. I think the lessons for nature is better. Actually, I'm going to I'm gonna keep your guard... Oh, wait, no. Oh, keep your guard up. I mean, that is just straight up better, right? That is more interest. And draws a card. Oh, I've only got one of it, though. Oh, whoops. I forgot about that little thing. Well, Fortitude's better, anyway. Fortitude's better than a shield. Um, I can only apply one fortitude. Is this my deck? I think it's my deck. Let's rock out. Because we need we need to climb here. We've got we've got some work to do. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get hit for thirteen stress. Oh, I was about to panic, but serenity of mind exactly what I need. Right now we can get to work. Oh, I should have played Squirrel first. I don't know what I'm doing. Bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> right, I'm about to double blitz as well. Oh, you're gone, son. You're gone. What a turn. What a turn. That card is insane. Oh, yeah. I think I've heard enough. All right, I'm convinced. You have the better potion, Sylvia. Who's the underdog now? Bitch tears. I'm, sorry. I'm celebrating already. Rookie mistake. It's time I showed you the error of your ways. What? What did he just do? What's this? We'll have to see what happens next. In round two. I don't get what happened. He just looks angrier. Did he attach this? Is that new? <laughs> 
The anticipation is a lot to handle. Robin, care to show us your next creation? Among the nobles of the continent, this is by far the most popular cure for curses. It does look nice, and it's good enough for them. You know, I think my mother keeps one of these in her cupboard. Smart woman. She'll live a long life free of jinxes, hexes, and ingrown toenails. If it's good enough for mother, it's got to be worth something. I suppose our audience will be the judge of that. What do they say? 3.6 again. No paltry sum. My heart goes out to you, Sylvia. You can't possibly measure up to that. You just wait, bucko. Sylvia, will you rise to the challenge? I will rise to the challenge. That sounds like a good idea. Where's my blim blamming potion? There it is. Oh god, it's worth nothing. <laughs> we should have made five stars and better um, traits, which we could have done if we'd waited a little longer. <laughs> but hey, I get to play with my deck a little bit, and I like my deck. Forget the elitism, this is a curse cure for everybody. Instantly identifiable, that's for sure. The closer I look, the more impressive it appears. Let's check in with the audience. What would they pay for this curse cure? Oh! Not bad. Robin has the edge, however. Care to set straight? I do care to set you straight. Let's rock out. Okay, we don't have any draw, but we do have fortitude. Fortitude's sick. Sick, bro. Squirrel. Bravado. Fortitude. Fortitude's fantastic, actually. It really is. What's up? Oh, you're going to double my stress. Ooh, what's that going to do? Can't get stressed, son. Bonk. No doubts that you're awesome. Jeez, yeah, but you just hammer people over the head with it, you know? Captivate. It's kind of pointless. Lessons from nature. Really good. Oh, that's a closeout. Okay, right, so magnetism. Magnetism is huge here. Giving the rabble a voice is always a mistake. Hey. Hey. Dick. Lessons from nature. Serenity of mind. Oh, serenity of mind. You beauty. It's so good. I wish I had it for the entire game. It's like my favorite card. It's so incredible. Look at it. Look at it. Bam. Draw five freaking cards. Are you kidding me? Artistry to finish things off. <sighs> You're responsible for what happens next. Oh, no. You're totally maven, aren't you? You're totally maven. Folks who are witnessing history on Is it? I think it's Maven. We have a new champion, and her name is Sylvia. I did it. I did it. I won. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, no, May. Hey, don't feel bad. You did a great job. Shake on it. Harbin? <laughs> May is Maven. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said it was a Ratatouille situation. <laughs> what is, what's happening right now? You think you're surprised? I prepared for this outcome. But I never really thought it would come to this. Who are you? What did you do to Robin? Haven't you figured it out by now? Robin is no more than a marionette. I said it was a Ratatouille situation. <laughs> a pretty puppet that has allowed me to live among you unsuspected. I am the true power here. The rightful mistress of all I survey. I am Maven. May, Maven. I said it was a right two situation. I never got the May Maven thing, which in retrospect is a little stupid on my part. Maven? Maven the Witch Queen? You're alive? And you're a lizard. I didn't realize you were a lizard. What a twist. <laughs> Hold on to your seats, everybody, or else proceed swiftly to the nearest exit. Laugh it up, fools. This scaly semblance is only temporary. The world has long thought me dead, but I survived, and the time is nigh for my glorious return. I shall take back all that is rightfully mine, starting with the restoration of my true and proper form. I don't understand what happened to you. The band of idiotic heroes, the one who came here to slay me, they botched the job. The adults managed to blow up my laboratory in the attempt. The resulting explosion irradiated the island, and I was changed into this. A little cutie. Looking for me, Squire Boy was there. My powers were limited in my current undignified state, but they were more than sufficient to take control of him. I seized his mind on that day and have rarely let go since. No one questioned the feel-good story of the boy who triumphed over the wicked witch queen, nor did they bat an eye at his harmless little pet. They've been hiding in plain sight all along. What a trial it has been, steering Robin around, making him smile and wave and fraternize. I amassed power and wealth, but slowly, too slowly. And then Baptiste's goons managed to procure a sample of Maven Blue, perhaps the last of its kind. Once I get my hands on it, once I have my cure, my long exile will at last be over, and I won't have to tolerate you halfwits anymore. You realise this halfwit just beat you pretty resoundingly. Yes, that's inconvenient, isn't it? Fortunately, I have a backup plan. My mental magics aren't what they used to be, but over the year, every ounce of power I could spare has gone into this crystal. 
I've saved enough energy to change the outcome of our little contest, forcing you to see things my way. You mean... Prepare to forfeit, Sylvia. In another moment, it will be literally the only thing on your mind. Well, great. I'm totally screwed. Except, ever since coming to Rafter, I've faced off against one blowhard after another, and I've always come out on top. I don't have mind control magic or a mystic gem, but all the same, these days, changing people's minds is what I do. So how do I convince Maven not to zap me? I've got it. I use my deck. <laughs> I guess I can't win. I don't have a chance. Since you're a no-good cheater, with bad breath, I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. I won't be dissuaded by your petty taunts, nor by pathetic appeals for fairness. No surprise there. I mean, you've been trying to cheat all along, haven't you? Sylvia shows no signs of backing down. Someone pass Baptiste, please. <laughs> you tried to steal the Maven Bloom from the Guild Hall. You tried to bribe me into forfeiting. And when you realised you couldn't buy or steal your way to facing me today, you showed up with a magical trump card. It's obvious what that all adds up to, Maven. You're afraid of me. Oh, snap! <laughs> I think you've been afraid of me since our very first competition. It explains why you've been dropping in on me. That's absurd. Me? Afraid of you? Pafa! I dropped in on you out of a sense of morbid curiosity, honestly. The sight of you in that sad little slantwise shop. I couldn't fathom how you managed to make it as far as you did. I thought you must have some secret, some trick. My only secret is hard work and a willingness to learn. I mean, sure, my shop wasn't much to look at to begin with. We call those humble origins. I'm proud of where I'm from and what I've accomplished. You can steal this contest, but you can't take that away from me. Can't I, though? Nah. I suppose you have a point, Sylvia, forcing you to forfeit now. That would be a hollow victory. I deserve more. I deserve to crush my foe. To leave... I've changed the voice, by the way. To leave no doubt in anyone's mind about my superiority. <laughs> All right then, have it your way. I shall leave your mind, such as it is, untouched. But the rest of the cattle assembled here today, they're about to forget all about your so-called victory. Let's try this. One more time. Mah, 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 mah. What's going on? We'll have to see what happens next. In round two. <laughs> That's more like it. Huh? Round two? We already did round two. You know what? Fine. If that's the way you want it, bring it on. Coming to rally, are you? But Rafter is still rooting for its harmless, handsome hometown hero. Alliteration, is it? The ready the set for round the second. Okay. The anticipation is a lot to handle. Robin and show us your next creation. My dear friend Baptiste, for your consideration, a masterpiece. Nobles love this one. I'm sure it will remind you fondly of your mother. Seriously. <laughs> you know, it does remind me of my mother. And it's hard to put a price on such a thing. Fortunately, that's not for me to decide. Audience... Same price again. Good. Let that be the end of this. And the family in question is the ancient line of monarch Magi whose mastery of forbidden arts ended the second dark age. Okay. This one's a winner, at least. It was last time. It's instantly identifiable. Curse cure, and the closer I look, the more impressive it appears. Let's check in with the audience. What they charge? What they pay? Same again. Not bad, Robin has the edge, however. Can set straight. No, okay, what? Ready to win. I did it before. How is this any different? Is it just like another battle? But I mean, it seems fine. I'm confused. Serenity! My stress isn't. I'm not stressed. You chill. Don't worry about it. Improv! Wait, no. My deck's too good! <laughs> Fortitude is insane. Subliminal! Improv! Ferocity! Bravado! Captivate! Artistry! Lessons from nature! Blitz! Okay, I think I have to... I wonder if take it or leave it would be enough, but I don't want to risk it, do I really? I mean, I'm nearly there already. Just a little mental push, that's all. You messing with the judge? Wait, what? Whoa! Oh, they gave him loads of shields. Interesting. Bravado! Blitz! Free ring! And then... Deep connection, that's rubbish. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that was a really rough turn for me. Oh, I won anyway. Oh, I missed the talented. Never mind. Folks, we are witnessing history unfold before our very eyes. We have a new champion again, and her name is Sylvia. 
Did it work this time? Rafter's got a new queen of potions and it's me. No. No. No! Did it, did it actually work? I did get an achievement. How? How did this happen? Ha! It feels just as good the second time around. You want me to beat you again? Because I could do this all day. This is intolerable, unthinkable! In my prime, I could have reduced you to a smear. You know, there was a point where I thought Maven had been like hard done by and was getting shafted and like we were going to find her again and she was going to be all nice and it would turn out the heroes had kind of hunted her down just for capitalistic purposes. Not the case. <laughs> I could have reduced you to a smear, a smoldering gash with a wave of my hand. I could have forced the crowd to tear you to pieces while chanting my name. But now it's all I can do to receive some control over this single vessel. Without him, I can't even scratch my own nose. These stubby, scaly arms, they're worthless. And without that ingredient, this is how I will remain. Hey, listen, it's not all bad. I can plant a cutting, grow a new flower. You can try again when it blooms. In ten years or so. Oh, to have fallen so far, my dreams of conquest shall go unrealized. And my potions will be known far and wide as second best. Hmm? Hmm. Is it over? Did we win? Shush, now we're going home. Okay. Sigh. You've won today, Sylvia, but you'd better wash your back. Wash your back? Watch your back. <laughs> Did anyone catch all that? I'm pretty sure I just saved Rafter from the vengeful return of a power mad sorceress. No? Ah, well. I saved my shop, I saved my uncle. I really did it, I won. Ten, oh, five hundred thousand. Oh, of course, grand, hundred, yeah. Victory! I could get used to this feeling. It wasn't always easy, but we pulled it off in the end, didn't we? It's kind of you to say we. <laughs> it's obvious who the true victor was. Oswald. No, you're amazing, Sylvia, and the best thing I did was no one to get out of your way. If you say so, but I'm glad I didn't have to do this alone. I meant the world to meet off my uncle Oswald by my side. I... I... yes. <laughs> I'm a softy. Now, are you ready to slip into something less feathery? <laughs> I'm not. I want more feathers. Because I've just finished brewing a potion that I think you're gonna like. Sylvia, I couldn't make it to the tournament. But I heard the outcome. It appears you've accomplished all you set out to do. I owe you congratulations, and you owe me the remaining balance. It's all here, every beautiful copper. Boink. And a little chest as well. That's nice. I mean, they're still pretty loaded. <laughs> a most satisfying outcome. I don't know. Spending it on ramen might have been a little more satisfying. Excellent. Now, as per our agreement... <laughs> the animation there was beautiful. You have been released from your contract. This property is paid off in full and belongs entirely to you. That's it. I'm free now. As promised. I live by the letter of my contracts, Sylvia. Which is why my business is not yet concluded here. Is it, Oswald? <gasps> <laughs> it's like a Pixar film, it's really good. The possibility never even occurred to me until an owl was spotted doing Sylvia's paperwork at the licensing bureau. An owl who couldn't help himself from boasting about Sylvia's progress with familial pride in his voice. You very nearly got away with it. You did get away with it, it doesn't matter if you figured it out, we already paid you back. Nevertheless, Oswald's dereliction was an outrageous violation of terms. There are consequences to that, rather severe consequences as you'll remember from the fine print. Oh, oh dear. That's it then, isn't it? This is the end. It is. I'll give you a moment to say goodbye. Now hold on, you can't just... Sylvia, my girl. Let it go. I won't allow you to put yourself in harm's way for me. Not again. I'm so proud of you, Sylvia. You've accomplished incredible things. Oh, I'm going to do something incredible, alright? Just watch me. Helene, let's make a deal. Listening. You're so sure of your abilities, but Oswald tricked you. He was riding right under your nose, hiding. My abilities weren't at fault. The transmogrification distorted the shape and scent of his soul. And what's to stop someone else from using the same trick? When word gets out about this, and it will, believe me, everyone who owes you as much as a phone call will be embracing their wild side. I sense a butt coming. Takes one to know one. <laughs> it so happens I've just finished brewing the one and only antidote for transmogrification. When that potion is gone, it's gone forever. And it might be the only way you can ensure no one else slips through your grasp. That potion can be yours, for a price. I think I know already what price you're asking, but I'm in the mood to haggle. Okay. Times are tough, and hard work can show your expertise. Just close like a boss. Maybe forever, yeah. So Oswald's gonna stay an owl. Going once, going twice... Sold? Very well, Sylvia, you have yourself a deal. What a difference a few weeks makes. 
the skill is undeniable. I almost think you went easy on me. Absolutely not. I like you, Sylvia, but I don't let sentiment creep in on business decisions. Executing Oswald's contract to the letter is good for business, however. Leveraging his fate to get my hands on this potion is better for business. Simple as that. Brutal, but I get it. It's a brutal world, but you're well on your way, and if I might humbly suggest it, someday in the future you may find yourself in need of an influx of capital. On that day, call on me. I'll keep a contract handy just in case. She's gone. She really left. Sylvia, you... you saved me. I owe you twice over now. I'm beginning to think you like being indebted, but you must be disappointed she took the cure. I'll learn to live with it. It's almost certainly a better fate than what Helene has in store. Then you don't want the cure, because I've got a spare. <laughs> and anyway, it could be worse. I'll take feathers over scales and... <laughs> you, what did you say? Boink. Ah, Sylvia, you old cad. I made two potions. I thought I could get a nice chunk of change if I sold one to Maven. So much for that idea. But I've got the second potion here, bottled up just for you. It's pretty small, but it should be the perfect dosage, given your size. And I can guarantee it doesn't taste like old cabbage. But I, but you, I, 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 I don't deserve you, Sylvia. I really don't. Ah, come on. You didn't think I'd leave you hanging, did you? Who cares what I thought? Dear niece, you've made a habit of surpassing my expectations, every one of them. I couldn't have done any of this without you. We make a good team, and we're sticking together from now on, right? Let's shake on it. Just as soon as I have hands again. Does that mean you're ready to get untransmogrified? Ready as I'll ever be. Bottoms up. Look, look, look. I kind of liked him as an owl. I'm going to be sad. Oh, well. This is some interesting side effects. This could take a while. <laughs> Dear Mom and Dad, Everything's going great. Oh, there he is. Everything's going great here in Rafter. Funny story, Oswald isn't dead. Although I did almost kill him with one of my potions. Not on purpose. In all the confusion, I ended up inheriting his shop anyway. He doesn't seem bitter about it, though. We're going to be partners. I can't wait for you to see what we accomplish. All my love, Sylvia. <laughs> okay, I'm appreciating the artwork. There's mint. Chasing the chickens. Very much a Zelda reference, like I said. <clears throat> Flower picking with Baptiste. Sculpting, as promised, with um, Muktuk. Finally fixing the draft in the roof. Saffron. Beautiful. Just saying. <laughs> Hanging out with all of Luna's extended family. Rocking out with Zid. Sailing the high seas with salt and pepper. <laughs> Hunting down miraculous dung for the notebook with uh, Corsac. And screwing up some potions. Good old Oswald. Fresh squeeze slime juice. Nice. Oh. <laughs> it's a shame the game doesn't let you continue. I think they should. <clears throat> like it should let you just carry on day after day after day. Like take out all the story. Just so people can work on the social element if they've missed any of it. That would be nice. I'm assuming if I continue, it puts me back to the morning of the final day. Yeah. Let's just double check that. <laughs> I'm assuming that's uh, the competition, though. Yeah, okay. No, I can't exit anymore. I can't exit. <laughs> Anyways. Right, so uh, that is Potionomics. Um. I really, really enjoyed this game. I really, really did. Uh, the combination of card and deck building, I think the deck building needs work, but the deck building plus the potions running and crafting and all that, which I really enjoy, and the, not the romance element per se, but the, the friends element, you know, it's a friend simulator, I guess. And getting to know these characters, all wonderfully designed and animated. 
it's, it's not one of those games that's ever going to be like one of my favorite games because it's, I don't think it's a game you could ever play twice in a way um, because it's very linear obviously there's things I would do differently this time around but I'd still experience the same story beats etc etc um, and there are problems I think the gameplay could have done with mixing up a little bit more even and it is easy I, I know some people in the Steam review said it's a hard game it's, as long as you like, as long as you think about what you're doing and kind of plan things out a little bit, it becomes quite easy to get ahead of the game. You saw I was finishing potion. The final two rounds, I think I finished all the potions on the first day. And even in the third round, we got it pretty bloody quickly, so. It, it could do with hoping the... Uh, maybe even difficulty settings. I would have played on a harder difficulty if it was an option. Um... But yeah, I really loved it. I didn't expect to really love it. I didn't expect it to take 26 hours plus to finish. I didn't think we'd be here on episode 26 at the end, but um, really glad we played it. And uh, hopefully you've all enjoyed the playthrough. I've got no idea what playing next. I've got no idea if Disco Elysium is even running at this point. I'm way ahead on this compared to Elysium. Um, but uh, I'm sure we'll find something to replace it, I'm sure. I think I'm going to go back to trying to balance between serious games like Elysium and more mess around games like this and cute things like Slime Rancher etc 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 but we'll see. I wouldn't mind playing another Shopkeeper Simulator. <laughs> I really like Shopkeeper Simulators and messing around with money and optimizing and all that kind of stuff so uh, by the time you see this I'll inevitably have found what my next game is and I hope you enjoy that as well and thank you so much for sticking around on the channel and subscribing and liking and all that jazz. Alright, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you folks next time. Cheers much love as always. Bye bye.